Leader of the Alliance for Change, Attorney at Law, Nigel Hughes, has swung the statement by President Irfan Ali to border on the ridiculous. President Ali recently announced that he was going to dismantle the drug gangs. You would have to be living in Wonderland to take that statement seriously. What is he going to dismantle the drug gangs with? I am sure when the heads of criminal enterprises in Guyana read, meet and they hear what the president says, they must have a good laugh. You said that the president hasn't been able to dismantle anything looking like a drug gang without the assistance of the United States. We had two submarines here and almost a quarter billion dollars worth of narcotics found in this country. And none of this was detected as a result of any domestic law enforcement agent agency. So it must mean that it is clear that the ability to locate large quantities of narcotics, the ability to locate the, the equipment that is used to convey these large quantities of narcotics overseas, that it is clearly beyond the capacity of the Ghana police force. He said that if the government can't even find the drugs, what would the president use in his dismantling drive? There appears to be a, a continued eradication of trust and confidence in the Ghana police force. And I will touch on just just two particular incidents recently. There clearly is a suggestion that a relative of a high-ranking police officer had over $500 million in, in her account, and she's connected to a police officer. Nothing has come of it. Uh, in relation to the shooting outside of Palm Court, the Fagunda shooting, which must be now a year, year and a half old, a hundred yards away from the president's residence, there has been absolutely no progress. The Ghana police force has clearly demonstrated that it doesn't have the capacity to solve or address anything looking like a major crime. There was a shooting of Escrivo Man or in Boston. They've charged a man with having shot him. But the more important question is, how does a squad leave Georgetown, travel to Esequibo, go to Dartmouth, shoot a man in his bed who has no criminal record, has never been a suspect in any criminal activity, and up to now we have not received a single report on who ordered it, on what basis it was done, and what was the criteria for it. The result of these things is that people refuse to divulge information to the police, according to Nigel Hughes. There is nothing that the Ghana Police Force has done in relation to combating serious crime that leads anyone to have any modicum of confidence. Unfortunately, the consequence of what happens in Guyana now is that most people, if they are aware of serious criminal activity, as I suspect the villages around the area where, where the uh, cocaine was found are, they would of course hear the aircraft when they come, they would of course hear the aircraft when it takes off, they will not disclose anything particularly when there are reports in the press that serious police officers have been transferred on being suspicious, uh, on being uh, involved, suspic on suspicion of being involved in activities related to the presence of this.